Hey guys, Tech Made Easy, and thank you so much for clicking on our video today. Well, as you can see, we've got the new EcoFlow 220 watt bifacial solar panel. Now, hey, what is bifacial? Well, that's a real cool thing that they did here. That means that you can actually get power from the front of the solar panel and the back of the solar panel. The front of the solar panel can produce up to 220 watts and the back of the panel can produce up to 150 watts. Is that sick or what? Now, the panel is also waterproof. It's IP68. It actually comes with a carry bag that you can use as a kickstand, which is awesome. And it can be used with many different products, whether it's a power station or a solar setup. As long as you can use MC4 you know, cable connectors, then you're all set there. In this review, I'm gonna do an unboxing real quick and then I'm gonna connect it and test it. So, let's get this party started. Hi, it's Al from Tech Made Easy with a real quick message. I just wanna let you know the video you're about to watch is not sponsored. We went out and bought the products ourselves. So if you like our video, please give us a thumbs up. It definitely helps. Share our video. And lastly, we hope you subscribe to our channel and become a part of the family. Thank you. Let's get ready to unbox this. And there you go. That's everything. You get your nice carry bag. They, make a re they do a really good job with making this bag, you know, because this is not just a carry bag, but that's actually a kickstand that you can use to angle the solar panel. And you do get some clips as well, and these are used to actually connect the bag, or the stand, I should say, to the solar panel. So let's crack this open and take a look. Now before I open this up, I just want to show you the quality. So, I mean, really good stitches here on the handles, okay? You got uh, what looks like a, a thicker zipper this time around and I think you know they keep getting better and better But I love the way it kind of seals it for the most part. It's you know, obviously the carry bag is not going to be waterproof But I do like how you know the zipper You know kind of seals this up a little bit, which is nice and it is a thicker uh, Zipper so let me crack this open and, and show you what this looks like so you'll see here that this part is going to be hard and the other part's going to be soft in the carry bag. And you're going to put the clips on here, which, you know, after we're done, we'll show you how it works. But uh, this acts as a kickstand and, and it'll actually push right up against the panel and keep it in place. These are your MC4 connectors. Very simple. You know, a lot of... Uh, you know, power stations have a cable that will connect to these and uh, different types of solar setups. So you've got a positive and a negative and you can't make a mistake on how you put this in, by the way, they're, they're designed specifically a certain way. So that is the 160 watt. This is the 220 watt we're gonna be testing today, but that's by facial. So you can actually get the charge on both sides. And this is the uh, Delta, the original Delta. I call it the OD, if you could see the image on the screen there. And uh, this is a Delta 1300. So it's got a little over 1200 watt hours. But uh, let me show you what these guys look like set up so you can see how they compare as far as size. So there's a good look as best I could on a side-by-side. -side. I mean, I wasn't expecting to include the 160 watt panel in the video, but I thought it would be good to show you how different this panel is. Now, they look very similar, but there's definitely some changes. So, first of all, you know, here's your 160, and you'll see here that your clips, you know, there's a, there's a small, you know, area here where the clip kind of grabs in, and, you know, your uh, bag really opens up all the way. All right. Now this is a one-side panel, right? It's not bifacial. 
this guy here, as you could see from even the pattern, right? This has got, this is pretty unique and different in the sense that that's new. Another thing that's new is the bag doesn't close, doesn't fold all the way. So, I mean, this is, there's a reason for this. Uh, I think, I think. So as you can see, it doesn't open all the way like the other bags. But let me show you one thing that's different. So they did extend these holders. You see how long they are? So it allows it to actually grab on to the panel. And I don't know if this is a better way. It seems to work for this panel. And this panel is unique, right? Because this is the front side of the panel, which will provide two, up to 220 watts. Now check the back out. The back is tempered glass. And if you could see the shine, and I'll turn this around in a little while. Actually, you know what? Let me fold one side in. How about that? It's a great side-by-side. -side. So look how different that is. So this is the back side, which can produce up to 150 watts of solar. Okay? And you can see here, this is uh, interesting right um how different of a panel from front to back so there you go anyway we are going to test that with the delta the original od right that's the od um original delta and we're also going to test it with a meter to see what we get as far as volts and amps so Let's check that out. So I'm going to go over key features and then we're going to start our testing. So this is a $650 panel, okay? Keep an eye on sales prices. Of course, we'll put some links in the description like we always do. Uh, again, the front is up to 220 watts. The back of the panel can produce up to 150 watts. Uh, it's a monocrystalline solar panel. It is made with tempered glass, which makes it five times more durable than most solar panels. Uh, this is IP68 waterproof also, which is really nice. As you could see from earlier, it's portable. It's got a nice kickstand case. The energy conversion rate is 22 to 23%, and the weight is 20.9 or 9.5 kilograms. Well, if you know the channel, we love Progresso Chicken Noodle Soup. Now, this isn't a commercial. There's a reason why we love this can, because it actually helps us get our panel in the best angle possible. So let's check that out. So we've got our panel angled, and I mean, the sun is really high in the sky, and that's the reason why, right? Now, you know, the challenge with using this um, kickstand case is, as you can see, it's going to block some of the sun on the top when it's on that real high angle, all right? Very little, but still enough. You see the shadow? So let's take our can of soup for a second, or progresso chicken noodle soup, and let's lay it on here. And you'll see that this is a pretty darn good angle. And what you're looking for is a shadow. So I'm going to move my hand, but as you can see here on the bottom, it's pretty darn good, right? There's almost no shadow except my hand. Now, let me also take and adjust the camera on the other side. You know, and you could see, other than my hand, there's hardly any shadow. And this side is pretty good as well. And so that's why I use Progresso Chicken Noodle Soup. Can you use another can? Sure. Can I guarantee the accuracy? No way. Hey guys, if you're really enjoying this video, take a moment, give us a thumbs up. Brooklyn and I would really appreciate it. Thank you. All right, so this is a new multimedia media we uh, picked up and uh, we are getting 194 watts out of the panel. We're getting 20.87 um, VOC. We're getting 12.52 amp, and VMP we're getting 15.55. So look at that, almost 195 watts on this panel, and uh, this is a, a, a new multimeter.
that we found and it's just it comes with the MC4 cables so they just connect which is really nice it makes it a lot easier so we'll put some links in the description on this but uh, not bad let's go ahead and plug in the Delta and see what we get now it might get noisy but uh, you just take this guy here and you plug it in to the side panel where you connect the XT60. This guy's gonna turn on and we're gonna try our hardest to really see what we're getting here in the input side. Because of the sun. So we're 142, 150, 180, 192. Wow, okay. It's gonna go up and down for a second because it's kind of like what it does. I'm used to it. But 180 is what I'm seeing. Of course, you already got the specs before, but we're getting 181 at a, out of a 220 watt panel. Now, keep in mind, the sun is really high, and so you're not gonna really get much from the backside of the panel. Um, I don't think, again, this is a new type of panel, a bifacial, right? We are getting 180. Now I'm gonna do some bifacial tests to see what kind of wattage I get when I'm not just laying this panel down, right? Because, you know, right now the sun is really high. I mean, honestly, uh, it's all the way up there, if you can see. I don't even know if I could see. Yeah. So the problem is, is, you know, you have to angle the panel to get the most wattage. So we got 181 watts, as you could see before. Now, and with the, with the multimeter, at one point we had 194 but now what I'm trying to do is get some light in under the panel as well as on top of the panel. So as you can see here, this is really not the best angle you could tell, right? It's not because that panel should be turned around facing the sun. But what I'm doing is I'm trying to make sure I get light in here and light in here. So let's take a look and I'll keep changing it, but let's see what we got. So looking at this, and I know the angle and the sun, I've got 128.4 watts, 7.5 amps and 20.87 VOC. And then I've got 16.76 uh, VMP. All right, if you could see that. And I think it's the shadow of the panel that's messing us up here. I take it out to the sun. Here it goes a little better for you, okay? So yeah, we're at 126, 130 watts. Well, let's change this angle. I'll play with it a little bit. Again, this is bifacial, so let's see what happens. Angle number two, let's see what we got. I am getting 164.6 watts. Well, I am getting 10.35 uh, amps, 21.02 VOC, 15.91 VMP. Angle number three. Let's see what we got. All right. I got 189.9 watts, 21.02 VOC, 11.93 amps, and 15.95 VMP. All right, here's another angle. Let's see what we got. A hundred and ninety two point nine watts, twenty point nine one volts, eleven point nine one amps, and sixteen point one seven VMP. Well, I hope the uh, testing that we did here today and the close look really helps you understand this panel. Uh, we will put some links in the description for the 160 watt solar panel testing. And we'll also put the link in there for the Delta uh, comparison video. Very, very helpful uh, video on going over the different Deltas. We'll do the same thing 
on the river comparison that we did. All right, guys, and uh, give us a thumbs up. We would really appreciate that. It helps the channel. It really does. And thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. Hey, guys, take a moment and give us a thumbs up. We'd really appreciate it. As you can see, Brooklyn, she's waving her tail for you. Take a moment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell and you'll get notified of new videos we come out with. Also, follow us and contact us on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook. We'd love to have you. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day.